You're listening to The Real Short Box, a comic book podcast made for geeks by geeks. Hello and welcome to The Real Short Box. My name's Kim. My name is Donald. And my name is Kevin. And today we're going to talk about the Funko Pop Toy Phenomenon. Ooh. Funko Pop Toy Phenomenon? I've never heard of these things. <laughs> As we're surrounded by an entire apartment full of them. Uh, actually, yes we are. There's a whole room here filled with pop toys. Um, Sadly, for my personal collection, because I may have a problem. You definitely have a problem. But I'm it's not okay. sure. We're sitting on them actually as stools now. There's a stack of ten high that mm. um, we're we're each sitting on. And I'm very, very disturbed. Well, why is it? Because all all the they're characters look... you're sitting on are women? No, no, no. Because they're just no, okay. It looks, looks like looks like they're staring at me. Like look at the they eyes. Are. They well, they their eyes do follow you. They're dead eyes though. They're dead yeah. eyes. Their little beady dead eyes will follow you. Yours not so much. You've got a cool one there. Yeah. Um, so we're talking about Funko Pop, the phenomenon that is Funko Pop, right? Yes. Um, before we, we we delve into that, though, um, I will say that I've I've tried to get into the Funko um, booth at San Diego Comic Con for the last like five years. Yes, and I'm a living hell. Have been unsuccessful uh, since Funko started. Uh, what in two thousand? Nine or something, 2010, somewhere around there. Yeah, almost a decade. Um, they, you used to be able to walk up to their booth at the Comic Con, and they were like, "Hey, please stop! Please buy! Look at this! Please, we were selling stuff. Can, do, don't you want one? They're only like ten bucks." And I was like, "Okay, fine. I feel sorry for these guys. They're kind of cute, you know." Mm -hmm. So I bought a couple, and then walked along my merry way. Um, so something happened then where. Everyone kind of won one then. It was very strange. And then so the next couple years, it started to get a little harder to get into the booth. And then you started to have to get a ticket mm -hmm. in order to get into the booth. And then you had to start standing in a line. Or bribe people. Or, and you would have to stand in the line the night before yes. to get in. Or you'd have to pay somebody to stand in line for you, which I don't advise doing. Nope. No. It's <laughs> not cool. Um, besides that, though, it became this huge phenomenon. And... I was trying to think of another phenomenon like this, and the first thing that came to my head was the the, the Beanie Babies. Yeah. And Kim, you know a little bit about the Beanie Babies, yeah? Of course. I mean, I was I was in the middle of it as a kid, so uh, they launched in 1993. Um, they originally came out with a couple different ones. And um, they weren't actually factory produced until 1994 because the sales were really slow, similar to like what you were saying. Right. Um, and they refused to buy, a lot of retailers refused to buy the products uh, in bundles. But um, of course, as we know, history tells us they became like a huge phenomenon. And um, they, I don't, like they were crazy. <laughs> like I have a whole bunch of them still. <laughs> um so yeah, the collectability. I have a, I have a couple. They, they um they kind of fizzled out though. Yeah, I have a Christmas one, which is just a red bear, and then I have a St. Patrick's Day one, which is just a green bear with a four-leaf clover. I think he has on him. Yeah, I had like I had all the animals. <laughs> I love the yeah. animal ones. I didn't like the bear ones and though. I, I like I heard I, I, there was a news article or it was uh, in the on TV once. I think it was on TV. Um, it was about this couple that they basically invested their life savings into Beanie Babies. Mm. And they thought that they could save them and put them aside and in 20 years sell them for well, a small fortune. In in the height of Beanie Babies, Beanie, uh, it, it turns out Beanie Babies made up 10% of eBay's sales. And um, they would sell like 10 times the original price kind it's of thing. It's funny. Do you know how or, or why eBay was originally created? Why? No, I don't. <laughs> it was well, quick pro pro. It was for the. Uh, it was actually for the sale of Pez dispensers. Oh, that makes Pez, sense. Pez dispensers. Um, there was. Uh, I think it was. It was either the. I think it was the wife of the guy that created eBay. Um, she loved collecting Pez dispensers, and she did not have a, a good community to trade with, and so they thought up this idea to create eBay. In order to network across the U.S. and sell Pez dispensers and trade Pez dispensers, so it was originally for Pez dispensers, which is mm. kind of crazy. But then, yeah, um, 
Beanie Babies took off, and that became a huge part of eBay sales. Yeah. Uh, comic books is another huge part. Of course, now it's Funko Pops. But before even uh, there was uh, Beanie Babies and there was yeah. uh, Funko Pops, there was another phenomenon. And there's always going to be something, but this one... This one stood out. <laughs> this one was special. This one was violent. Kevin, tell us a little bit about this one. This one goes back to the 1980s, and they were known as the Cabbage Patch Kids. Yes, Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> Lar- Basically, they were what? Little dolls that yeah, dolls came out of cabbages? Large, yeah, yeah, large round <laughs> vinyl heads, yes, with the chubby cheeks, and sometimes yeah. with creepy looks in their faces. Super creepy looks. I had one, I think, as you a kid. You had one? And yeah. you murdered it. I didn't like it. Or did it try to <laughs> smother it in its sleep? It wasn't my favorite. Yeah. But. Yes, this was a big thing in the 80s. I, I remembered it, you know, as a small child as well. And, of course, I didn't care for much for it, but I knew the girls in, in class, in elementary school, certainly had one or had a bunch of them. Yeah, they were bringing them to class and, like, comb their hair and yes. stupid shit like yes, that. Yes, comb their hair. And, you, and we're, we're all like, you girls are dumb. And can I get Wade Boggs for Don Madden? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That? You know, exactly. with the baseball cards. We were just as nuts. Exactly. Oh, but there was a variation that, 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 that us guys were into, the boys were into. Pokemon. Garbage Pail Kids oh, cards. Whoops. Well, Garbage Pail Kids cards. Yeah, that came actually, wasn't it, didn't it come from mocking the Cabbage Yeah, they were mocking. It's from yeah. mocking. That's probably why, they get oh, the boys, really? that's probably why the boys yeah. were into it. Yeah, well, they took the idea of like guys, you know, kids like boys, like collecting cards, like baseball cards. It was smart. And girls love Cabbage Patch Girls, so why don't we mock them, because the boys are mocking them, and put it in card form. Yeah, it was in intelligent as hell it was brilliant. surprisingly i mean if you look at the cards they're dumb as shit yeah but the it idea works. behind it was smart as hell it's absolutely brilliant now one of the things that happened in the early 80s when the cabbage patch kids were at their peak were parents and i guess parents being parents during the holidays they really want to please their children they're getting the fisticuffs i mean yeah. literally you had reports of violence including hitting shoving trampling as well as some customers attacking others with with baseball bats just to get a Cabbage Patch Kid. I mean, that's crazy. Baseball bats? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Jesus. Unnecessary. A little bit. I mean, but, you know, I guess in some respects, it's precursor to what you see now on Black Fridays. You see people, uh, you see people fighting at the Walmarts, at the Targets, the Best Buys of the world, just to get some... Those poor, poor people don't know about Amazon yet. <laughs> yeah, that's what doesn't make sense to me these days. <laughs> Back then, fine. I, maybe I can understand because back then you didn't have the internet. Sure, yeah. But now it's like, my God, there's Cyber, like but Cyber Monday. Click. There's a click in the button. But I guess people it's want like, it right now, right I now, know. right now. All for the joys of those children's faces. Yep. Mm-hmm. And guess what? The kids are going to stop playing with it after like two weeks. So <laughs> I, <laughs> is um, it really worth it? I no. uh, stood in line this year for fingerlings and my nieces. Uh, well, 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 we don't need to hear about your... <laughs> I'm just I'm, Personal I'm reiterating life my nieces like put it down after two seconds. Oh, like, oh, so it's a toy. It's a toy, yes. Okay. All but they're right. called fingerlings. They're like little oh, monkeys that are animatronic and They're what? They're like they hold on your finger. They're like monkeys and there was a unicorn one that was like oh. sought after. Oh wow. Did yeah. you get one? I got three. Oh shit, <laughs> I bet you were the, the star. Best auntie ever. <laughs> I bet you were. Jeez Louise. <laughs> my, always remember you. My uh my my great my my nieces are all grown up. Oh, okay. Because I'm old. But my, uh, well, actually, my sister started very early, so I'm not really old. <laughs> no. um, my great nephew and my great niece are both completely too young to be into anything yet but Paw Patrol. Nice. That's it so far. That's great. So thankfully, yeah, that's that, easy. that's all I have to deal with right now is just Paw Patrol, and I don't really have to get him anything. Like, and then like Hot Wheel cars, he likes that. Oh, cool. My niece is still too like I got go go, you know. Right. My my like fist is cool to suckle on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I could get her anything, and she'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm safe there so far, but yeah, I'm, I'm dreading the, Get in what is the coolest thing that's coming out for kids now? And I don't, whatever it is, it's probably gonna be very expensive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I remember when it was the Tickle Me Elmo's. I remember it when, when it was, uh, the Furbies. I remember oh, Teddy Ruxpin and pretty much a lot of things that vibrated surprisingly were, were very popular, mm-hmm. you know, rumbled around. <laughs> um, Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah, that was a great one. Uh, in fact, I remember when my mother bought uh, Teddy Roxbin for herself ah. and not for me. I see. Yeah. 
That's okay. No, Sorry. I'm not. I'm not bitter about it. It though. could be worse. It could be worse. Yeah. No. 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 So we had the the craze that was the Cabbage Patch dolls, where people were beating the shit out of each other and yep. baseball bats to yep. the knees and stuff. People were getting Nancy Kerrigan over. Yes. Over these dumb dolls. Yes. Um, we had the Beanie Babies, where people mm-hmm. were investing their life savings and then losing I their like, fortune. Uh... God. And well, I don't know what they're using the Beanie Babies for now, besides Nothing. maybe clothes or something, or to keep themselves warm because they can't afford it. But then we have these Funko Pops. Now these Funko Pops are a little different in in some ways. They're 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 very cheap mm-hmm. uh, to purchase. They're about anywhere from ten to usually fourteen dollars, somewhere around there. They don't take up a lot of space. They're what like four inch little yeah. figures, vinyl figures. Best. They're super cute. They're very <laughs> adorable. Um, Kevin, you have one right in front of you now. It's one that you you like uh, pretty well. Yes, it's the Booberry Funko Pop. The Booberry. Now that's the metallic finish Booberry Funko Pop, correct? Yes, which is a uh, very rare. Only four hundred eighty in existence. Only four hundred eighty. So only four hundred seventy nine outside of these walls. Yes, exist. And we're gonna find them. And we're going to find them all. <laughs> in fact, if you have one, please uh, reach out to us and send it to us for free. We appreciate that. And if you don't, we'll we'll track you down. Yes, we'll find you. We'll find you. Yes, we, we have to collect them all. We Got to catch them all. A true collector <laughs> is a true collector. Right, right, yes. So we, we have, you have the Booberry one. I have one in front of me. Uh, it's uh, Hot Rod Roddy Roddy Piper. Um, this one came out relatively uh, recent. And uh, this is one of my favorites. Near and dear to my heart because Hot Rod Roddy Roddy Piper was my favorite wrestler of all time. Mm-hmm. He had a mouth on him, yes, and I think that's a lot of my problem now. Mm. So I grew up kind of emulating him. And he was <laughs> Scottish. Wasn't the best idea. Yeah, plus he had the bagpipes and the kilt and stuff, which was cool. Uh, and then, Kim, you have one as well. I do. Well, I, I have two that are like my favorite. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's from the Angry Beavers um, Norbert and Daggett. Um, they're Angry t- <laughs> Beavers. Yeah, it was Explain. a cartoon. Okay. Uh, it was a cartoon I watched as a kid. Uh, they were brother beavers that lived in a dam, and just I love that show so much. So I have the pop Funko of them. Nice, then, nice. So um, I know some of these can become pretty valuable, um, but I also know that some of them are just plain cool, and they just have some some of the coolest concepts. Yeah. I think that's what separates the pops. Yeah. Is the fact that they have. Um, different, they license different characters. I mean, it's right. for every like it's for everybody. It's like long lasting. That's the brilliance of it all. Yeah. They're... If if you're not if you're not a fan of Angry Beavers and cartoons in general, yeah. but you love wrestling, yeah, they got one for you. We have a pop for you. Yeah. If you just like cereal, <laughs> <laughs> they've got a pop for you. Yeah. It's Superheroes. Just everything. Uh, television. Uh, hell, they have one for Sharknado, guys. Yes. Wow. They have a Sharknado. It's a shark inside of a tornado pop toy. I like it's that one. It's <laughs> adorable, yeah. That one's great. They also have athletes and musicians. Yeah. They, and then, then they came out with like what, what would be variants, so you know, yep. like the metallic or a different colored suit or something. They have the Phantom. I don't know if you remember uh, Lee Fox, the Phantom, the, the ghost who walks, uh, played by Billy Zane in oh, the yes. 90s. Mm. That's right. A very underrated superhero film, if you ask me. I agree. But um, they have the the Phantom in different colors. They had him in his classic purple, and then they have him in a blue, and then I think they also had him in like a, a gray, and just a multi-colors, and one's more rare than the other, and you know, so on and so sure. forth. They have a retro suit, Mr. Incredible, which, by the way, oh, cool. 480 pieces to this very limited extremely expensive we're talking about a thousand dollars at least Holy to purchase this at least. pop toy Jeez. we have a Tyrion lannister with a sliced face nice. you know you guys were mentioning game of thrones uh in in one of our other pods here recently uh we have a herschel green with uh he's decapitated so his head is removed <gasps> no. from his body. They did, they, they did one with Ned Stark as well, I believe, right? They did. And no. that one is worth a lot of money. That was no. a lot of money. The, the Ned Stark one can go all the way up to about $1,500. You know Shut what? And, and Headless we, Ned Stark. Uh, and, we, and we idiotically could have gotten that too. Mm-hmm. And we messed up. Yep, we did. They have a Hong Kong Fooey one, which is the little dog in a karate outfit, which yeah. is adorable. I remember Hong Kong Fooey, yeah. They got the exclusive uh, red and black Nightwing with the red eyes, which is cool. Uh, another one, one that I actually own is a, is a Castiel with the, the black uh, angel wings from Supernatural. That one uh, was a, if I recall, was a Hot Topic exclusive. 
Oh, that's the other thing. When you have a exclusive, rather it be a Comic-Con exclusive, a Hot Topic exclusive, Best Buy exclusive, people take that very seriously. I ran into a guy when I was um, picking up some food. He had a Freddy Krueger one. And I, I, this guy was gripping it as if, if, it was, if his life depended on it. I mean, he was like, yeah, I just got the last one. And, you know, they, they only sold at this one store in, in, in L.A. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I wouldn't I mean, have been, like, talking about that considering all the, the toy casualties. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Kneecap. I would have been like, oh, man, this is like, it's right over there. But he was happy. <laughs> I mean, he, 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 was, he was searching all over town I mean, I mean, to find it at this one store. I yep. mean, it was just, it's just people are crazy when it comes to these exclusive, pop yeah. exclusives. They've got a Stan Lee one at the convention that he has out here. Here in uh, Los Angeles. How much is that one worth? Uh, I don't know how much this one is worth. It's mm. I think it's his first one. It has mm. him pulling his shirt open and it says, you know, Stanley's Comic Con or nice. Kamikaze or something. Um, it's one of his. It's probably one of. Yeah, it's probably relatively one of his earlier ones. I could be wrong though. Um, they got a Marty McFly in the time machine inside the DeLorean. That's pretty cool. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> they started awesome. like coming out with ones with the vehicles then as uh -huh. well. Um, they have, uh, for those Dragon Ball Z fans, they have Vegeta, who's, uh, you know, part of Dragon Ball. He has a little red, like, uh, thing over his eye. Oh, uh, Vegeta, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, that, there you go. <laughs> Vegeta. Uh, you see how well I am with names. Uh, Edward Scissorhands, they made an Edward Scissorhands pop. Nice. Uh, Ash from Army of Darkness. I know you appreciate that. Yeah, they have a metallic Deadpool, uh, a Tobias Funk, uh, Funk, from, uh, <laughs> Arrested Development, believe it or not. He is the blue one. And it's where he blew himself, yeah. <laughs> he's completely blue That's and he's hilarious. never nude. Brilliant. So he's in pants and, and flip-flops. Um, there's also the mayor from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, there's so many. It goes on and on and on. As long as they keep licensing um, characters. Right, that's the genius This of could it. go on forever and ever. Yeah, that one's really cool. The Night King. Night uh, King on in, a dragon. On, on the a, dragon that he, Vissarian, that he yeah. killed yeah. and converted yeah. into a White Walker. Spoiler! <laughs> Yeah, well, you know. Hey, it's your problem. It's your problem if you didn't watch the show. Right. Spoilers. Uh, by the way, yeah, there's spoiler alert there. Sorry. Um, there is uh, a list here of some of the more expensive ones. There is a Planet Arlia Vegeta for $820 from, from Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. Or Vegeta, as you would like to pronounce it. Whichever way, I'm, I'm sure I'm they wrong. Have, they have the queen with they have the corgi. The, they have the queen with the corgi. I mean, for everyone. Oh, oh they, the queen. Everybody. They have the queen? Yeah. Yes. Wow. They have the royal family. Wow. The royal family came out. So pre oh, um, wow. They just did the uh, Home Alone. They had three characters. They had Kevin and then the two uh, burglars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they had that just come out for Christmas, which, of course, I bought. It's a th like $33 commitment to get the whole set. And that, for me, is a little like I can set that up for Christmas right. in place of a tree because I'm very sad. I wonder, have they done any, like, the scientists, like, famous, like, like the Einsteins or Teslas of the world? That'd be kind of cool. They did, like, any... Oh, I'm they, sure. They may have. I could be, uh, you know, I, I, I might... Yeah, they might not, but like that. Uh, they have another one. It's a Batman. He's blue and metallic. That oh, one goes for one. about 800 bucks. Yeah, I remember that one. The headless Ned Stark. They say in, in here it's going for about six hundred and ten dollars. That's incorrect. Yeah, it's eBay. been saw, updated. Yeah, eBay, eBay just much said more. Eighteen hundred. <laughs> Jesus God. Yeah. So Kevin and I are kicking ourselves because we had that in our hand and we were like, "This is Dang silly," it. and we put it back. Oh. I joke you not. <laughs> no. Yeah. We had it in our hands. Oops. Yeah. Doodle. You know what? That's like two months worth of rent right there, or maybe one month worth of rent, depending on your situation. Yeah, depending on where you live. Uh, they have the Lotso Flocked from Disney, from Toy Story 3. That one's about $550 that yeah. goes for. There wow. you go. The Silver Harley Quinn goes for about 4 to 6 The Freddy Funko Kylo Ren. Uh, Freddy Funko is their... Um, icon. Their icon, their spokesman, their, you know, for the, the Funko toys. Disney has Mickey. Uh, Funko has Freddy Funko. It's his little red-headed kid with freckles. Yeah, anything with him, that seems to be worth a lot of money. Yes, that goes for about $400. Bucks. Um... They have the Amazing Spider-Man Metallic for 350 And then in Disney, they have the Cheshire Cat in blue, which goes for about $350 as well. Yeah. And let's not forget the Conan Pops, the exclusive Conan Pops at Comic-Con. Every time he comes down to do a show, though, it's... Oh, happen. Conan, yeah. They Conan, always give him uh, out if you actually get into the actual show. Yeah, you could get one like with him as a Ghostbuster or <laughs> really? him as Superman, I believe. Superman, Stormtrooper. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. He does one, you know, some every year, and he always... This year, I'm going to bet a million show. dollars they'll probably have a Black Panther one. Oh, I don't know. You never know. I mean, just, just, just in the mask or something like that. You know? I don't know. Okay. They might do a, a... Aquaman, maybe Aquaman. A wa Aquaman one, yeah. But a Black Panther one, I don't know. You never know. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. 
I don't see. I'd be surprised if that one happened. Fine, fine. Aquaman. Maybe Wonder Woman. Yeah, we're a little late, <laughs> we're a little, we're a little late on Wonder Woman at this yeah, point. Yeah, it would be a little late. But Aquaman would be cool. But, I mean, they were also probably a little late on Ghostbusters, too, don't you think? Yeah, mm-hmm. they were. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, possibly. But, um, yeah, so uh, the idea of Funko is very simple. They actually, uh, they have a, their head office uh, headquarters is in... Washington State, I believe. Washington, yeah. So um, if you ever get a chance, I think you can go up there and possibly get in. And I'm sure security will be It might be tight. like a lottery or something you have to yeah, do, but sure I, I could be, be wrong. Tight. You might just have to make an appointment. You can get in and go. I have a friend, uh, he lives in New York, and he was recently there at the headquarters. So I was really jealous of that. That's mm-hmm. awesome. And I told him to get me an exclusive, and he then no. he laughed. So I'm sure it's just as hard up there to get something exclusive as it is anyplace else. But Funko has redefined um, pop culture in a way. They have made no it exciting to collect something again, you know, that's that's different. And have people chase for a very affordable price. Right. So yeah. they've, they've been doing this for, for a while now, for about 10 years. And it's it's something they're going to continue to do. And I'm always looking forward to see what they have new to offer. Um, so if anybody out there wants to, you know, mention their story or tell us what rare Funkos they have, what pops or, you know, dorbs or something that they enjoy collecting, feel free. Comment on our Facebook uh, page. Comment on our YouTube page. Subscribe. Subscribe to us. We have iTunes, Twitter, Instagram. We're all over the place. Send us a Ned Stark. Pop, if you'd be so kind. Yes, and please uh, send us a Ned Stark. Reach out to us. Email us. Uh, Facebook us. Tell us you have a Ned Stark pop. Headless one. Maybe Sean Bean himself has one. If he does, please send it to us. Yes, Sean Bean, if you have extras just lying around, uh, please, we would love one. But uh, I, th- I think that's going to be the end of this for this time. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, if you do get a chance, please... Uh, uh, give a give a follow and a listen over to our fellow podcasting friends classless chat um they do a very good job over there with pop culture and stuff as well so if you do get a chance it would be great uh you know if you could give them a listen uh also um you know thank you for listening to us we appreciate it and with that i'm donald i'm kevin and i'm kim this has been the real short box we'll see you at the comic shop thanks for listening 